for hardware connection, you just need to connect a term device and the PC and the controller to the switch by three different net cable. After that, you need to change their IP address to a same network segment. Uh, as you can see, this term device is 1.71 and the PC is 1.72 and the This controller is 1.73, so they are connected to the same switch and have the same network segment IP address. Press and choose the first option a term, they input the a term device IP address 1.71 like this and then save it. After that, this device will connect to the a term device and and back to the PC. Uh, let's open Term software, and uh, as you can see, the attempt device we are showing up here. Click this button to open its control software. And uh, right now, the PC and the attempt device and the controller are connected together. Uh, this T bar is used to control the switch, term, and the process manually as you can see and as you can see the atom de device has to have two video input right now if i push to switch you can see And for the mix, DIP, wipe, sting, and DVE is used to call the transition performance. So you can switch between the different transition performance. Take example right now is I uh, is mix is selected. If I do switch, it will adopt the mix performance. If I use the DIP, it's when I do switch. It will adopt the DIP performance. If I choose wipe, it will use to wipe the image. For cut, if you press cut, the image will switch without any uh, transition performance. They will switch directly. But if you use auto, it will adopt the uh, transition perf uh, performance direct automatically. After all the devices are collected together, you can use the keys 
to control the HM performance directly. First, as you can see the FTB button, after you press it, the program screen will fade to black, and you can click it again, the image will black. For the second, the button preview, preview chance. When you pressed, you can preview, you can see the preview screen. It will show you the switch performance on the preview screen. If it's not selected, it will switch the imaging directly. So this button is to used to check the switch performance on the preview screen. For, for the DSK1 and the DSK2 is used to uh, call the downstream key and the key one to key four is used to call the upstream streaming keys. For the downstream key and the upstream key, you can change the setting on the term software control interface. As you can see, this is the upstream key menu. This is the downstream key menu. Take example, if I choose a camera or a media play as a downstream, downstream key one, or medium 2 is the downstream key 2. After that, if I press downstream key 1 and the downstream key 2, it so will call the downstream key 1 on the screen directly. You can control to downstream key and the full uh, upstream key by this uh, different buttons directly and you can change the up, upstream key and the downstream key on the break magic design software controls menu you can add any upstream key or any downstream key here after you change the, the upstream key and downstream key on the term software control you can use our controller to uh, use the upstream key and downstream key directly. And here is this uh, five different button is used to change the transition uh, performance. You also can change the transition uh, settings on the ATEM soft um, control interface here, like here. Uh, this number button you can use to call the video source input uh, very quickly. And the color one is directed to the channel generation. You can choose the any color is color one here. Right now is a ray that is selected. So after I save it, and I can choose color one as the preview image. Or I choose color one as the program image. And uh, here is the MP1. For MP1, you can choose the media play one that's now the MP, mp1 is the logo right i can choose some one like this test one so when i choose test one and if i press test mp1 here it will show you the test one imagine on the screen directly Uh, this T-bar is used to control the 
switch tem and process manually as you can see for this file button is used to switch to control the audio level and uh, the first one you also can press to and hold for about one to two seconds to open the menu and change the settings and the second one you can click to uh, exist the menu 